Is creating content really too hard or are you just too soft? Lately, I've been seeing a lot of artists and producers complaining about making content, saying things like, this era of music is so trash. I can't just make music anymore. Now I gotta be a content creator. I gotta be an influencer too. What's funny is that they're saying this on social media. Kinda ironic. Anyway, I'm Jack Spade, a music producer and video creator with over 20 years of experience, TV placements, and I'm on a mission to help artists elevate their sound and content. So I keep hearing people reminisce about the good old days when musicians just made music and didn't have to worry about content. Yeah, no TikTok dances or Instagram algorithms to deal with. You know, back when it was easy to go to your local record label down by the haberdashery and just fill out an application to get signed. Back when they handed out platinum plaques like free orange chicken samples at the mall. Couple of questions though. Which timeline are y'all from? And is this some type of Mandela effect type thing? It's definitely bare steam bears, by the way. Let's be honest, those days, didn't exist. If you don't want to do content, you could do it for the love. If you want to make music for yourself and share it with your friends, fine. I do that too and it's all good. And there are some people who really don't have to do content because of their relationships or they've been in the game for a while. But if you out here talk about making a living from your music and you don't have those connections, you got to embrace reality. Today, that reality means creating content. Wait, 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 wait. Before you run, <laughs> don't freak out. Creating content don't have to be cringy. It don't have to be hard, soul sucking. In fact, I'm gonna show you how it can be easy and even enjoyable. But first, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. A little history lesson. Way back in the early 2000s, most musicians, they weren't even signed to a record label because that was kind of hard especially if you didn't live in NYC or LA. Even if you did, getting noticed was a grind. And me coming from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, we had no major record labels around us besides Slip and Slide Records and they had their roster. So me and my homies, we decided to start our own label. Problem was, we didn't have a clue what we were doing. We didn't understand how to properly run a business in our early 20s. And a label is a business, and every business needs marketing and sales to succeed. Now I see people complaining about having to do it all. Make music, become a content creator, handle marketing. They say it's soulless, and you gotta be a used car salesman to get ahead. When did indie artists not have to do their own marketing? They either did it themselves or they paid somebody to do it. Back in the day, if you were independent, you had to hustle. We had CD towers duplicating albums. We paid for printers and ink. We manually stuck stickers on top of CDs because we couldn't afford to get a laser printed to put it on the CD. We handed out flyers. We booked our own shows. And man, that's, that's just how it was. And it costs money. So when people <laughs> complain about these free platforms, I just, I just laugh, man. I told one of these complainers, I'd rather do content than have to do all of that other stuff. They hit me back and said, Cash Money and No Limit was able to do it independently, talking about how they got million dollar deals independent. Come on, man. Cash Money had cash money. And No Limit, it wasn't no limit to them pockets. They invested in street teams, DJs, payola probably, music videos and movies, which is content, by the way. And the cost was way more than creating content today, unless you're like Gary V or Alex Hermosi and have a team of people following you around all day. But today the truth is, even though it's hard, we're still living in the greatest time to make music or do any business, really. The game has changed and it's more democratized than ever. But with great power comes great responsibility. Word to Uncle Ben. Back in the day, getting 100 people to hear your song meant talking to 100 people, or maybe doing a show or getting on a radio. But today you post a video and boom, you could be in front of hundreds, you could be in front of thousands, maybe even millions. You never know. Your potential for attention is so much higher. Yes, there is a lot more noise to cut through, but most people are not consistent. So if you're able to be consistent and you're able to entertain, inspire, educate, and document, you'll grow. And if you don't have Gary V money, yeah, you're gonna have to do it yourself. And guess what? 
is not that bad. Shameless plug, if you do need help with that, I'm a one-stop shop for music production, video content creation, artist development, and marketing strategies. I help artists craft their sound, build their brand, and develop a consistent content strategy that's true to who they are. If you need help with any of that, go to my website and fill out a project form for free evaluation. Link in description. Understand your brand vision. I know the word brand can feel a little cringy, but let me explain what a brand is because most people don't really understand. Um, your brand is your story and your association with things. If you do content singing on the beach, then people will associate you with singing and the beach. And more than just that, it's also your vibe, the way you talk, your values, your style, whatever people associate with you is your brand. You get to control that. So nobody's forcing you to be a certain way. That's freedom. You create it. So you don't have to be a so-called influencer, snapping food pics and selling tummy tea. You just need to communicate your brand through the media you create. Audio, video, or written content. And listen, if you're not comfortable being in front of the camera, there's other ways to do it. You can do screen recording where you're showing your dog. You can do faceless videos. You can do audio, writing, and don't underestimate writing. People still read, trust me. Twitter or X is proof of that. Also, people still read blogs and newsletters, believe it or not. Get clarity on your story. Write down a story of your life, what matters most to you, your hopes, your dreams, your fears, what you wanna be known for. Make it into a document and flesh it out over time. You know, content ideas will naturally flow from this and it'll be in line with your story, which is your brand. And yeah, you should be writing every day. Get a writing habit, no excuses. What a writing habit does is allow you to put your ideas in tangible form. You need to be able to see your ideas and keep top of mind what your brand is. So you should be looking at your brand story all the time. How do you easily do organic content? The best way to start is just by documenting your process. I mean, you're gonna be doing it anyway, you might as well film it. Um, talk about what you love, music. Explain why a song means something to you. Open up about why you do what you do. Show the progression of making a song, tell stories, share your history, your day-to-day, -day, your vision for music, where do you wanna be in five years. Simply just share your experiences and your thoughts like you were talking to a friend. Also, and I need to be better at this, expand beyond music. Talk about your other interests too, your philosophy on life itself. You're a 3D person, not just the glorified search engine for music related subjects only. They say the niche down and that's true, but I like what this guy Dan Coe says. You are your niche. Since people have multiple interests, they can be interested in other things you talk about. You can even make them aware of certain things they had no knowledge of. You can put people on to new interests and this makes you more interesting. Find your own identity. Do something that has the least amount of friction when you first start. Don't try to copy someone else's formula just because they got millions of followers. Find the type of content you enjoy creating. So when you're first starting, I think you should pick one platform and just go hard on it. And don't forget to network with people that are like liking your videos or whatever. Appreciate the small wins. If you only get like five to 10 likes, just remember that's a room full of people and be grateful for every ounce of support you get. Music is not the product. Yeah, music itself can still make money, but let's be real. It's not in high demand. There's way too much supply. Hundreds of thousands of songs are uploaded to streaming services every day and people pay one monthly fee to hear whatever they want. So music itself, besides like sync licensing maybe, music itself is a bad product. So you need a good product. What can you tie into your music that people can buy? Maybe it's merch, digital products, or monetizing your knowledge. Think outside of the box. Learn marketing and sales. You do not have to be a used car salesman, but you do need to understand the art of persuasion. It's about convincing people to pay attention to you and eventually buy from you. You can't do this unless you understand marketing and sales. Right now I'm reading Alex Hermosi's books, Million Dollar Offers and Million Dollar Leads. It's not music related, but it'll get you into a business mindset, which you really need in order to run a business. Another person to look out for is Dan Coe. He gives dope advice on running a one person business. His videos absolutely changed my mindset. Once I started consuming marketing and sales content, 
I realized it wasn't that bad. It's actually creative in its own way, and it's actually fun. Be grateful. We've always had to build an audience and earn attention. Now we just have more tools than ever to do it. People complain because they want instant results. They're too soft for hard work. Don't be like that. Be exceptional because that makes you the exception. If you out here grinding on your music content and marketing and you're already setting yourself apart from these complainers, you've got everything you need to win. So keep going. So that's it. Like and subscribe. Share this video with somebody that needs to see it. Man, just stay focused and it's gonna be all right, man. You could do this all yourself. And if you need help, holla at your boy, all right? I'll see you on the next one. One.